if you are someone who is having a hard time teaching kids division or if you are someone who is a beginner at division then this video is for you in this video i will share a little variation to the traditional division method which will make it a lot easier to learn division at first at the end you will learn that traditional method but it would be really helpful when you are like starting out in learning division so let's begin Hello Genesis. So just a little recap. I get a lot of requests on making videos on doing divisions faster. So I was reading a lot on doing divisions faster. And what I found out was the traditional method that we use in doing division is kind of the best method. It is really good mentally too because it is from left to right and also on paper too. It is the best one. Like I was reading track number system and much more, but comparatively the traditional method is the best. But while searching for this in the Trachtenberg system, I found out a little variation to the traditional method, which makes it a lot easier for beginners to do division on paper. So I thought I should share it to the people who are like teaching kids or like who are beginner at learning division, like it would be helpful. So that is why I'm making this video. And also it is really simple too. There is nothing like big in that. You will say, oh, it is really simple, but I think it would be really helpful for beginners. So let's come right into the method. So see, traditionally, if you want to divide this number by this number, what will you do? It's simple, see. We will look at 274, not 27 because 62 is bigger than 27. So 274. In our mind or on paper, we will like hit and trial. We will see 62 times 2, 62 times 3, and then 62 times 4. And like when we do 62 times 4, we will find out it is 248 and 62 times 5 is 310. So we'll do 62 times 4 and 248 and then we will subtract. We will get this we will consider more numbers then repeat this procedure we will multiply find out the number and so on and we will get our answer now what is the problem in this the problem is nothing it is really easy but for beginners this multiplication process in between is a little bit complex like they are doing division and in between they have to multiply to and find out the right number to multiply with and this is a little bit difficult for beginners. Like if they are learning division, then they just have learned multiplication and doing both together is kind of difficult for beginners. So at start, there should be something easier to learn and then they come to this full method. So how can we make it a little bit simpler? In the Trachtenberg system, there is one little variation to this traditional method and it is like this. You will write both numbers like this. You do not make that sign in here. If you want, you can make it. It is your choice. Okay. Now before doing the whole division, what we make is this divisor table. What is this divisor table? It is nothing. See, you will just add 62 10 times. Just writing the whole table of 62 first but with addition and mark it like this 62 is 1 and when we add 62 to 62 then 2 and so on let's just mark it like this and this is called the divisor table and it is really simple now as the next step we just have to find the number that we can subtract so see if you want to subtract from 27 the lowest one is 62 and in division we do not consider negative numbers so there is no point in subtracting 62 from 27 then we look at 274 then we look into the divisor table and see 248 we write 248 we subtract and we write the marked number here in our case it is 4 here similar to the traditional division like if we even make the sign in here it will look like that just an addition of this divisor table now we have this 26 we move in that 8 so 268 again look at the divisor table but you can subtract yes 248 so write 4 there and subtract but we get 20 and so on you go on like this and we get our answer the remainder in here is like 16 and we don't have more numbers to take in so we stop there and this is our whole division now you might say this divisor table thing is adding a lot more steps to the calculation like traditionally we can just like 
start the calculation right away. But the thing is that this divisor table is removing confusion. This is good for the start. Like tell the students to write the whole divisor table and then start division. They will understand like multiplication is nothing just addition. And once they learn this method well, then they should move to the full traditional method. Do not keep them learning just this method. This is not complete. This is just like the first step. Like students make a lot of mistakes in that multiplication step while doing division. They won't make that much mistakes in here. So they won't think that division is something very difficult. They just will understand that they just need to multiply better. And then it will make this division learning process much easier for the students. So that is it for this video. I hope this video helps. Thanks for watching this video and always remember that math is everything.